Hello everyone, our paper is about semantic product search. As more customers begin their product search on online shopping websites, like Amazon, it is imperative that customers are easily able to discover products that match their shopping intent. Because search is a key component in this discovery process, during the matching phase, in which a subset of products are identified from a large catalog, we must ensure that a relevant and diverse set of products are retrieved. Traditionally, a lexical matching engine that retrieves results via inverted index is used. But there are several areas in which a lexical matching approach falls short, and in which a semantic matching approach may help. The first is in vocabulary mismatches between the query and product text. For the query, health shampoo, many products may not explicitly reference the term health, but they may satisfy the semantic intent of the query by having certain features, like being organic or sulfate-free. Another common issue is spelling mistakes, both in the query and in the product title. For example, in the query, sequined silhouette cocktail dress, both sequined and silhouette have been misspelled. A lexical matching approach may try to tackle this problem by applying a spell correction step or by dropping terms, returning products that may not match the exact intent of the query. A semantic matching approach is robust to these spelling errors and can return relevant results without additional processing steps. Another problem that is hard to address is cross-lingual retrieval, in which the queries and product text are in different languages. An example is this Spanish query for royal blue blouses for women. The lexical matching system can return products whose titles are also in Spanish, but it cannot retrieve products with English text that also satisfy the query intent. A semantic matching engine can learn, for example, that mujer corresponds to woman without requiring an additional translation step. There are many more issues that arise, including morphological variants, which are often addressed by stemming and lemmatization, abbreviations, numeric ranges, and equivalent measurement units. To address some of these issues, we learn vector representations of queries and products such that similar queries and products are mapped to close by vectors. To learn these vector representations and generalize to new queries and titles, we tokenize the query and title text and learn embeddings for these tokens. We use a Siamese neural network to learn these embeddings. Both the query and title are tokenized, and the tokens are embedded using a shared embedding layer. The sets of tokens are pooled and passed through a nonlinear activation before computing the cosine similarity. Our key findings were that we can aggregate the training data over long periods of time to reduce the number of training rows without impacting model performance. Also, n-gram tokenization along with average pooling is a simple but effective strategy. Out of vocabulary hashing can improve model generalization, and our three-part hinge loss allows us to distinguish between close matches, negatives that are similar to positives, and random negatives. Please read our paper to find out more.